So in this story of my life at Burger King, I'm going to be talking about a manager that was hired who was a bike rider gang member, ex-club bouncer and security guard. Now, before he got hired, it was just me and the general manager, and it was just us two. And I was doing seven days straight with two doubles for her to have two days off, and she would do seven days straight with two doubles for me to have two days off. And we were doing that for a while, and in the beginning... It was cool because we were cashing out. We were making, you know, like we were making some money, man. And um, but after a while with running through fumes, me and the GM are getting sick of each other because it's just us. And then how, how do I say this? Uh, just energy. We were missing out on time at home. She had just got it. Well, no, she didn't meet that guy yet. But at least I'm missing out on my kids. You know what I mean? Like we're missing out. The money is starting to not be worth it. So a new manager gets hired. He's a super cool guy. He's super nice down to earth. He's super cool to talk to. But he wears this leather jacket. I don't pay no mind to it. But he talks about it one day to someone else. And he's like, yeah, I never take my cut off. Like my cut off, that's my brotherhood. That's my family. That's important. That goes above everything. I still don't get it. Till one day he has a bunch of biker friends coming through to get some food. Now I connect. Okay, he's in a biker gang. Then we get in, we get into a situation where a customer is getting really upset and he's threatening a crew member. He goes behind. He goes from the kitchen around the counter, gets the guy by the arm, and somehow it looked nice, but it he forcefully took him out of the store. Comes back. Hey, guys, if there's any problems, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm an ex-club bouncer. I done did this for a long time. Another time, some dude that we had issues with prior, and you know, he comes in. This guy handles them. Everything that ha- happens at the store, at, mind you, at this location, I was at a pretty ghetto location. So there was always something exciting happening at least twice to three times a week. While he was working there, there was nothing happening because, again, Ex bike, I mean, ex security guard, ex club bouncer, and bike in in a biker gang. I'm not gonna say the biker gang because it's a local gang or it's it's coastal. But if I say, I can be tracked easier, and I don't want to be found. Um, after a while, we start getting a different type of clientele. We start getting biker gang members we start getting people that are looking for him he starts kind of putting fear into some customers he's starting to build a rapport and with him building a rapport and him being a manager the store is building a rapport so it came down to the fact that he had to be let go because i'm gonna say it just it started to make the burger king into a biker gang hangout spot and it just couldn't be no more Again, I never got any bad vibes from him. He was always so cool to talk to. He was a super nice guy. Like, if you didn't see the stuff that came with him and you just you just judged him or read the book of just him as a person, you would have thought that you would have never seen that in him. He just seemed like such a nice guy. You wouldn't think he was built like that at all, but he was more than built like that just goes to show you man you you never you, you you think you know somebody until you really try to know them